Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial on customizing the ribbon tab in Excel. The ribbon is the command bar located at the top of the Excel window and it contains all the tools and features you need to work with your data effectively. By customizing the ribbon, you can streamline your workflow and access your most frequently used commands with ease. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to customize the ribbon tab in Excel so you can work more efficiently and get more done in less time. Let's get started. On your Excel sheet, under Ribbon, any empty space that you find, right click and select Customize the Ribbon. The left menu, the left window, are all the av available commands in Excel and the right one is your default menu. Now I'm going to create my own customized tab so that I can put the commands that I use the most to save myself time. On the right window, I select on new tab. Select new tab, now rename it, let's call it favorites. The new group uh, that was created automatically, I remove it for now. On the left window, popular commands, I change it to all tabs so it's easier to find the features that I need. Now I'm going to find the commands and features that I use the most to put them all in one tab to make life easier for myself. For example, in the Home tab, I add some of the most common features and anyone that I, any, that I want to add, I select Add. Clipboard, Font, Alignment, Number. Now I go to Insert. From the table, I use pivot table a lot. So I add pivot table. I cannot add pivot table, it gives me an error because pivot table is a subgroup. In order to add only pivot table or any of these subgroups in the table, I need to create a new group. Otherwise, I can add the whole table all together but I don't want table I don't use all of those features so I remove it let's create a new group rename it to people table now I can add any subgroup to my people table I select people table I go to chart Again, similarly, I can add all these charts by adding the charts group or if I want to add only a few of them, I need to create a group in my favorite tab. I add a new group, rename it to charts. I use a few of these charts commands. Recommended bar chart naturally I'm going to add line chart and pie chart some more I can go to data sort and filter from the data tools I want to add a few of them, not all of them. So again, I create a new group. You can call it everything that you want. I'm going to call them data tools. So they are more familiar to me to find. Text to columns, remove dupli duplicates and data validation. I don't need the other ones. And one more uh, from the view, 
I want to add this window, some of the commands in the window. So I create a new group, rename it to window. I add freeze panes. Now they are the most common features that I use in Excel. In order to make the favorite my default tab in Excel, so anytime that I open a new worksheet, the favorite is shown instead of the home tab, I select it and by these arrows on the right, move up, I move it to the top. I can even drag it to the top. Above home and below background removal. Now, if I press OK, I should see this tab in my Excel sheet. Here it is. Now it is my default tab in Excel anytime that I open a new sheet. And it contains the most common commands that I use in a day-to-day -day work. I hope you find this video useful. Thank you.